everyone, it's the vegan foodie here. So listen, today I have another product review. I was at Trader Joe's and I grabbed this product and I was like, oh, I cannot wait to try it and let you guys know if it's a yay or a nay. So stay tuned because I have a special product review. And also, if this is your first time checking out my YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell notification so every time I drop a video, you get that baby. So stay tuned. So, though my experience at Trader Joe's was not that great, which y'all seen on the blog, I was not feeling it, but I did grab this product and I wanted to try this product. Um, and this is the Vegan Jackfruit Crabless Cake. So, it looked pretty good. I wanted to try it. Um, so, the instructions say to put it in the oven. Well, actually, you have to defrost it. So, I defrost it on my counter for an hour or 24 hours in the refrigerator. I didn't know it until I brought it out. So I defrosted it on the counter for an hour. Um, so I'm going to put it in the oven. You're going to preheat the oven for 425. So I preheated the oven. And I'm going to place the jackfruit cakes on a lightly greased baking sheet in the center and bake for eight minutes, then flip over and bake for another. So it takes about 16 minutes to make. So I'm about to uh, put this product in the oven. And let's see how the Trader Joe's vegan crab cakes really weigh up to the vegan foodie. So stay tuned. So the time is finally here. I actually heated it up, heated up my Rasta pasta. So just in case I didn't like the the crab cake, I still got food to eat because I'm low-key hungry. So anyway, let's get into this Trader Joe's jackfruit crab cake. And it's extremely hot. So um, I need to blow it off some before I eat it. Okay, it's actually not that bad. Um, I haven't had a crab cake in a long time, so I haven't, I can't think of like a real crab cake that I had that I can compare it to, but I mean, let me try another bite. Let's see, because the first bite is always like, okay, that second bite be like, okay, do you really like it? It's not bad. I would probably buy it every once in a while whenever I want a jackfruit crab cake. But I feel like it could be seasoned a little bit better. Um, I don't see where the crab part comes into play. It's not the most flavorful, flavorful but it is jackfruit. It's not, you know, crab cake. And um, the way that I cooked it, I cooked it in the oven, so it is crispy. Um, but is this a vegan foodie favorite? Nah. Is it vegan foodie certified? Maybe on a good day. But I'm still trying to get into it. I'm still trying to taste it and, and, and feel myself around this. Let me try one more bite before I, we give the final decision. It's all right. It's all right. Scale of one to 10, I give it about a six, six and a half. Yeah, it's all right. It ain't the best jackfruit thing that I've ever had, but it's not the worst either, you know? So I guess I'm kind of impartial to Whole Foods because Trader Joe's y'all disappointed me, but you know, this is all right. It's all right. You know, so you try to let me know what you think. Hit the comments below and let me know if you like the, the Trader Joe jackfruit crab cakes. Let me know what you think. Well, if you're on Instagram, comment below. Let me know. Anyway, I got more product reviews coming up, so stay tuned. Somebody just hit me about sending me products, so I can't wait to, you know what I'm saying, unveil that. I'm still waiting on more products to come that was sent to me, which is special that I'm going to be giving to you. I'm just waiting. So, anyway... 
I'm about to eat my Rasta pasta for real, for real. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at the vegan foodie. And I'm out, boo. Peace.